welcome to our Sunday morning preview. My name is Pastor Gary Gibson, and I have the wonderful pleasure this Sunday to be the fill-in pastor at First Presbyterian Church for my good friend, Steve Smith. You know, there are many aspects of worship as we gather on Sunday morning, and many of us, it's all about the music, and for the church in particular, this church in particular, Music does indeed play a vital role as we worship and praise God. This Sunday, I want to take a look at a hymn that I believe brings together great passages of Scripture that personifies the importance of worship and just how we go about praising God. That hymn is God of Grace and God of Glory. Let me take just a few moments to share the opening lines with you. God of grace and God of glory, on your people pour your power. Crown your ancient church's story, bring its bud to glorious flower. Grant us wisdom, grant us courage, for the facing of this hour, for the facing of this hour. The great God that we worship is an experience of his grace and indeed his glory. Grace, what do we think of when we hear the word grace? Well, I suppose the definition that may come to mind for many of us is the free and unmerited favor of God. And what about glory? To me, glory is praise, worship, and thanksgiving offered to God. Adding to this hymn, we'll be examining a couple of passages of scripture two of those, and it'll be Psalm 84 and Psalm 100. I think about gathering on Sunday morning and I think about receiving God's grace and what a tremendous gift that is. I think sometimes we take for granted what people truly experience in the atmosphere of the sanctuary on Sunday morning. And so much of that is God's grace. We receive it, it's a free gift, and how do we in return give back to God? Well, I think the answer to that question is glory. We glorify God for all that he gives us, for the many blessings that he continuously bestows upon us. It's just a, a wonderful experience that's even hard in many cases just to put words to. But I think more than anything, as we come together after the course of perhaps a tough week or maybe a tough set of circumstances, I think people in general, as they enter the church sanctuary on Sunday morning, probably bring two things with them. That's joys and concerns. And there is no doubt that both of those need to be addressed. Concern might be something that's happened this past week. Perhaps you've been to the doctor. You have to have some tests. Maybe you've gone to see somebody who's declined in the last couple of months. Maybe even one of your children or a family member is going through a tough time. So that concern needs prayer, and what better place to come to than the sanctuary on Sunday morning? The other is uh, going to be a joy. And I hope that's something that every single one of us bring on Sunday morning, sometimes because of what we're going through. It's a tough set of circumstances or something uh, tough to go through, but, but the same token, joy is a wonderful thing that can be shared with people every single day, not only on Sunday morning. But the joy of having a new day, the joy of the sun coming out, the joy of seeing your children, the joy of the holidays that we just experienced, so many of those. So I hope, I know it's been a tough week maybe for you, but we hope to see you on Sunday morning. Hope that you'll stop by First Pres and let the glory and the grace of God be given the opportunity to wash over you as one of God's children again. We hope to see you. The reading today is from Psalm 100. Listen for God's word for you. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. The witness to God's word. Thanks be to God. 
Let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Gracious, giving and loving God, as we gather today, we take into consideration the unbelievable number of graces and the glory that we have in our individual lives. Lord, we think about the many blessings that you bestow upon us each and every day, and even though many times we may not recognize them as the wonderful gifts they are, in some way, Lord, you are always there to show us, to encourage us, to love us, to lift us. We thank you for the opportunity so many times to come to you when your listening ear is always there. And for that, Lord, we are grateful. We think about the many people in our lives, Lord, and the opportunities and the circumstances that you provide for us and to share our faith. Times when it is uh, the strongest in the world and times when we need to consult someone else when it seems to be a little on the weak side. And for those people, Lord, we are grateful. We lift this great weather this morning, Lord, that we've had. It's hard to believe it is mid-January and it uh, continues to be more like fall or spring than it does winter. But the problem might be, are we going to pay for that a little later in the year? Lord, we know you control every aspect of our lives, including the weather, so we'll just leave it go with that. We ask all of this in your holy name. Amen. <laughs> 